Hello, my name is Praveen Kumar, and in this video today, I'd like to share four things with you. First, the impact of COVID-19 on Japanese smaller businesses. Second, the growth opportunities emerging out of COVID-19. Third, the changes that we've been making to the portfolio. And fourth, the outlook for Japanese smaller companies. In terms of the impact of COVID-19, 2020 has so far proven to be challenging for businesses everywhere, and Japan is no exception. However, like the broader Asian region, Japan was among the first countries to be hit by COVID-19, but with the recent lifting of its state of emergency, Japan is also among the first to emerge out of this crisis. Thanks to its rigorous approach of contact tracing, testing, long-standing cultural habits like wearing masks, and a compliant population, Japan has so far recorded one of the lowest numbers of COVID-19 related deaths compared to other major economies. However, the impact of COVID-19 on corporate Japan has been harsh, with the brunt of this being borne by Japanese exporters as overseas demand remains very weak. Measures taken by companies to contain the spread of COVID-19 have resulted in widespread disruption of supply chains. The pain has been acute at some of the smaller Japanese manufacturers that don't have the luxury of a strong balance sheet. But it is not all bad news. The crisis is also creating new growth opportunities for dynamic, entrepreneurial, and nimbler smaller businesses. I would like to highlight three areas where we see significant growth opportunities emerging as a result of this crisis. Firstly, e-commerce and digitalization. Second, software services. And third, healthcare. Taking these in turn, Japan has been a laggard relative to other developed markets in adopting new technologies, as Japanese companies in general have underinvested in IT over the years. The current crisis is laying bare the inadequacies of corporate Japan's current IT infrastructure. This is serving to accelerate digitalization in the current climate and is creating numerous growth opportunities for smaller businesses that are trying to solve these kinds of structural issues. One such company that we own in the portfolio is Bengo4.com. It offers an online digital contract service which allows companies to eliminate paper-based contracts for employment, real estate, legal matters, to name a few. The current crisis is resulting in a large number of companies subscribing to Bengo4's digital contracts service. Sales for this service more than doubled over the past year, and the company expects to maintain a similar pace of growth over the next 12 months. Another holding GMO payment gateway is also emerging as a major beneficiary of the current crisis. This is Japan's leading online payments processing company and is seeing rapid growth as an increasing number of people opt to shop and transact online. We're also seeing significant changes in the attitudes of traditional Japanese companies in terms of how they treat employees. There is a growing emphasis on workplace reform and maintaining employee satisfaction, something that traditionally Japanese companies haven't bothered to spend much time on. This is resulting in a strong tailwind for software companies like Saibozu and Oro, both portfolio holdings that provide easy to use software that allows companies to automate and streamline a number of tasks related to HR, payroll, marketing, and project management, to name a few. Finally, on healthcare. Given Japan's aging society, the current crisis has hit home the need for the government to be able to reach out to the elderly and vulnerable in order to provide them with much needed medical services. Japan's health ministry is taking measures to address this issue and is now encouraging companies to provide patients with services like online consultations, telemedicine, and remote diagnostics. Portfolio Holdings M3 and Noritsukoki are prime beneficiaries of these changes as they are among the leading players in these areas. It is worth mentioning that we have over half of the portfolio invested in disruptive and rapid growth businesses that are offering products and services designed to solve structural issues in Japan. It is our observation that the current crisis is only serving to accelerate the previously discussed trends in favor of these companies. In terms of portfolio changes, there has been very little activity. 
At the margin, since the back end of last year, we have been trimming our exposure to cyclical businesses and adding to our internet stocks. As patient long-term investors with a five to 10 year investment horizon, we are averse to making changes in times of crisis, especially when we remain confident of the underlying strengths of the businesses that we own. Over three quarters of the portfolio is in stocks that have a net cash position on their balance sheet. So there is significant resilience in the portfolio. As for the outlook for Japanese smaller companies, it is easy to be gloomy and pessimistic at the current time, given the large scale disruption caused by COVID-19. However, we remain optimistic about the future growth prospects for Japanese smaller companies. It is our belief that COVID-19 will accelerate changes in the behavior and working practices of corporate Japan, and this should result in numerous growth opportunities for fast growing, nimble and disruptive smaller businesses. There has never been a better time to invest in Japanese smaller companies, which remains a hugely exciting asset class.